Do you want to make this fluffy puff puff buns? Do you want to make this diet buns with pepper and onions? Just look at how it looks like. So delicious, so fluffy. You know, you can use it for anything. Let's go, guys. Hello everyone, welcome to Cook with Ijama. It's your babe EJ. Today I'm going to make this milky, delicious puff puff for you with pepper and onions. So you can see I have my onions, pepper, the meal, which is the flour, I have sugar, I have condensed milk and whole milk, I have salt and yeast, then vanilla. So I'm going to start with adding three cups of flour into a bowl, okay? So yeah, as you can see, I added the first one, the second one, and the third one. So after adding it, I'm going to add, so after adding three cups of flour, I'm going to add half teaspoon of salt. So you can see, I'm, I want to measure everything that I'm using. So after adding it, I'm going to add half teaspoon of vanilla. So yeah, I, I, I like adding vanilla in my puff puff. So the next thing I'm going to add is salt. Sorry. The next thing I'm going to add is sugar. So I added one tablespoon of sugar because I'm going to use condensed milk to add there. So you know condensed milk has a lot of sugar. Then I just minimize the sugar I'm adding. Then with the condensed milk, the sugar will, you know, pop out. So I added whole milk as well into the condensed milk because I'm going to warm it. So I added two cups of whole milk and half cup of condensed milk so i'm going to add it into this floor okay and mix everything i put it in the microwave to make it warm so the next thing i'm going to add is the yeast yeah i added half tablespoon of yeast yes that's what i added I don't want to add the yeast the first time because the f yeast doesn't like to be exposed, you know, with the air. So you need to add it and start mixing it up so that the yeast will, you know, rise the flow. So after mixing it, all the dry thing, I'm going to add the milk. So you can add to your taste, you know. It, it mustn't be that the, this milk is going to be enough for this mixing. But if the milk is not enough, you can add more so that the puff puff will be fluffy. And when you fry it, it will turn out good. Okay. So don't just take it because I measured it and you take the measurement like that. No, just add more and more if it doesn't work out like that so i have to mix it very well with my hand you know mix 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 so that everything will blend together all the ingredients will mix and say hello to each other i'm here we are okay with this mixing yes they are okay so when they jump together you know the test will come out good yes i can't wait to test this my puff puff so after mixing it i covered it then i'm going to put it inside my oven i just on the oven you know just a little bit and off it so that just the oven is just warm so i will just put it inside the oven and leave it so it's going to rise from there but another method you can use you can use uh, hot water put hot water in a bowl place the puff puff 
on top of it and cover it with a dark uh, towel or any other thing that you have. So after one, one hour and 30 minutes, I left it in the oven. You can see how it looks like. Yeah, it turns out because the oven is warm. So that's why the muff muff just rise up, you know? So I just want it to be fast. I don't want it to take much, much longer before making it. So I mix it again, turn it again, because I'm, this time I'm going to add the pepper and the onions that I blended, you know? So like I said, I said it's milky, pepper, and onions of puff, yeah. So want to know how it tastes like. Yeah, I know it tastes so nice. So guys, this is the onions and that's the pepper as well. I'm going to mix it. So after mixing it, I'm going to add bell pepper, paprika, you know, to make the color. I want the color to change from this milky color to, you know, light red. Not going to be red but it's going to be just light like that you know so that was why i added this paprika in it you know so when you see it you will know it's because adding pepper alone to make the pepper to color it like that way oh my god you're not going to eat the buns anymore so you need to add paprika so it will change the color you know light red you know so yeah as you can see if it's not enough you add more so i added a little bit more so that the color will pop out very well so it's time to fry guys yeah so this oil that i'm adding in this plate is the one that i'm going to be soaking my hand into so that the so that the puff puff will not be you know you know be will not be holding in my hand so you need to be bringing out so fast. When you're putting it in the frying pan, it will be just sleepy and, you know. So you can see the puff puff. I'm frying it. I want to eat this puff puff, in fact. So remember that when you're adding this puff puff, try to reduce your cooker to medium heat. Don't put your puff puff when the when the oil is so hot or your cooker is so hot, no, reduce it so that the puff puff will fry very well. Okay. When you open the inside, you will see that the puff puff is already done. That making it, you know, to rush and fry. When you open the inside, you will see that the puff puff did not fry. So guys, that's the puff puff. So you can see here. Yeah, the color is okay. Don't allow it to get burned. Okay? Don't allow it to get burned. When you see that the purple has turned to brown, you know, brown golden color like that, try to remove it from the oil before it gets burned. So, guys, that's how I make this delicious purple in my house. So I need to add the second one. You see how I soak my hand? Yeah. So if I'm adding it into the oil, you know, it will be going fast, fast, fast. It will not be holding in my hand, you know, gumming there. You no. Know? So that's the work of the oil that I soak my hand into. So that's the last puff puff that I'm frying, you know. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait for this puff puff to be done. Then I'm going to chop, chop, chop it. <laughs> it, you know, wind my mouth. Yes. So you can use your stick and turn it around. Anyhow you want it. What we know is that the puff puff is done. <laughs> yeah, guys. So this is how I make this delicious milky puff puff at home okay so you can prepare your own and show me the way you did it yes 
you can do it yes there's many ways you can do this puff puff you can add many things in it it's not only pepper and onions and all that you can add anything spicy it up and you know you can do it normal way you know sometimes we try another recipe in a in anything that you see you can try anything and it gives you another taste so guys this is the puff puff how does it look like didn't you like it in fact give me a comment tell me how you feel about this puff puff thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share bye bye